Sometimes you feel like you're stuck in this cocoon waiting to like break out of that shell into like this thriving butterfly. I sure have this feeling and that's the reason why I'm creating this video for you. It's because I want to talk to you about the four things that prevents you from cracking open that cocoon and thriving out in your business. Hey, it's Wilson here, serial entrepreneur, and make sure that you guys subscribe along the journey because I'm gonna be sharing a lot more strategies, tips, and hacks on how do you build a small business and how do you build a thriving restaurant. We've definitely all been there. That feeling of being stuck, that feeling of late nights trying to figure out what's going on and that why are you not progressing, that you feel like you're just waiting for that next break and that you're, you're destined to do more. And that's exactly how I felt when I first started along my whole entrepreneurial journey. And that's the reason why I'm sharing with you the four things that has worked in my favor in order for me to actually transform, in order for me to break out of the cocoon, and in order for me to be successful in my business. And that's the reason why I'm gonna be sharing with you these four items. The number one thing that stops you from achieving your potential is not going out of your comfort zone and being too complacent, being too safe, playing it too safe. And that's exactly what happened to me when I first started my business is that I was working at a nine to five job. I was at, uh, working at Shaw Telecommunications and I was on the call center. And at that time I was making really, really good money as a fresh graduate. And for me, I felt like that, that was kind of like, that's it. Like I'm making like $5,000 a month and I'm like, wow, this is amazing. And like, I, I, I'm, spending, I'm making so much more than my friends. But then yet at the same time, my side hustle, which was my tutoring business, never really took off. And I felt like that, I'm, I'm being stuck in this cocoon that I feel like that tutoring business has a lot of potential. It just never really took off. And the reason why it never took off was because I was in my comfort zone. I wasn't willing to risk everything that I have, risk my nine to five job and to really focus and really focus on this tutoring business, which is the reason why after two and a half years, I ended up quitting that job and without a plan B, I just jumped right into that tutoring business. And before you know it, after three years, that tutoring business got acquired. So that's just a small story to share with you to tell you that importance of jumping out of your comfort zone, whether it be going to seminars, whether it be going to conferences, anything that you feel uncomfortable doing, you should always, always do. Because not once have I regretted doing things that are out of my comfort zone. Whether it be a positive result or it's a negative result, I have something to learn from. And that's the reason why we should always challenge ourselves and not be complacent in our own little bubble. The second thing that will stop you from your true potential is the imposter syndrome. A lot of times we are all very, very talented in what we do, but then yet we don't truly believe in ourselves. We don't have that permission to actually come out as an authority. And that's exactly how I felt when I first started this YouTube channel. I felt like that, hey, you know what, who am I? I'm not Gordon Ramsay. Why am I sharing with you, you know, how do you build a restaurant and all these type of insights that I have. And it really bothered me a lot because I felt like that I was a faker. I felt like that I was not good enough. I felt like that people didn't really value what I had to say. And all these internal dialogues that I'm telling myself, hey, Wilson, you're not gonna be successful. Hey, Wilson, don't, don't do it anymore. Hey Wilson, people are judging you and all these things are people are telling me. But then yet I still went on with it. I, I, I broke down my comfort zone, I stood, I, I came out of it and I told myself that, hey Wilson, I'm giving you permission to do this because you've been there, you've done that. You've built an ice cream shop and you grew it into a seven location chain and you got it acquired within a span of five years. You've built a business, you've built multiple businesses got, that got acquired. Who is anyone to say you're not good enough? And that in turn allowed me to gain confidence in what I do and even today, at times, I still have this doubt in me that, hey Wilson, are you good enough? Are you good enough to share your insights with someone across in the camera? 
I don't know, but I just know that I am good at what I do and I'm just here to give and to provide. Same thing with you. If you have your passion, if you have something that you, you think you're really good at and you feel really confident in, then go ahead with it. I'm giving you the permission to go ahead and achieve and chase after your dreams. If you cook this amazing recipe, go out there and prove your concept. No one is to tell you that you're not good enough. This whole journey is a learning experience. So that's the reason why if you're suffering from feeling doubt, feeling that you're a faker, it's okay. I'm now giving you permission to go out there, break through that cocoon and go and thrive. If you guys find any value from this video, make sure you guys smash the like button. Just shows me that this is the type of content you're looking for. Now let's get right back into it. The third most common thing that stops people from being successful is being fancy. A lot of times we feel like we need that fancy dandy equipment in order for us to be successful, just like doing a YouTube channel. I thought that I needed the lights. I thought that I needed the backdrops. I thought I needed a perfect lens, a perfect camera kit. But in reality, we don't need any of that to be successful on YouTube or in any, any kind of industry. You just need to have the passion and you just need to cut all the BS and actually do the work. The equipment is only a nice to have given and after the fact that you have a proven concept. So nothing's gonna replace hard work. Nothing's gonna replace you taking action. A lot of us actually prevent ourselves from being successful and taking that first step and having all the excuses is because of the fact that it's so easy to blame with the fact that I don't have that DSLR camera that's $2,000. Therefore, I'm not gonna be successful on YouTube because I don't have the camera. It's such a convenient excuse for us to just rely on that excuse and not do and take any action and not come out of our comfort zone. And that's the reason why it prevents people from achieving any type of success because we feel like we need all the fancy stuff in order for us to be successful. On the same note, you may be investing in a $2,000 camera, you may be investing in the backdrops, in the lights, in this and in that, and all the fancy things because you feel like these are the items that would bring you success. But in reality, these are the tools out there but if you don't use the tools accordingly, if you don't do the work, no matter how crazy the camera is, no matter how crazy the tool is, it's not gonna give you any results if you don't commit and if you don't do the work, which is the reason why we don't rely on fancy things. That shouldn't be a reason that stops you from achieving your own success. The fourth and final thing that prevents any entrepreneurs from reaching any type of success is doing what 99% of the people are doing out there. What is that? That is just watching this video and not doing anything about that. A lot of people are consuming content. They're the learners, they go to courses, they go to conferences, and they feel like in order for them to be successful, they need to equip themselves with knowledge, 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 knowledge. They need to know this person, they need to go network, they need to buy this equipment, they need to do this, they need to do that. But in reality, they're not doing and taking any actions that would move the needle. They're not putting themselves out there to risk everything that they have in order for them to achieve any results. They're not taking action. You, if you need to be successful, if you're dying to be successful, you need to put yourself out there. You need to take action. Now, some people might be thinking, well, Wilson, there's a huge mountain to climb. Like, how am I gonna be able to achieve that? That's huge, I don't even exercise. How can I climb this mountain? Well, take it one step at a time. Break down your overall vision of what you're trying to create. If you wanna build a fine dining experience of a restaurant, one of the top in the world, then take your first step. Build that first concept of a restaurant. Prove your product market fit, and then slowly work your way towards it. Break down your dream and your desire into bite-sized chunks so you can take action. Take one step at a time and to start chipping at it one day at a time. And before you know it, you're gonna be able to achieve far greater success than you can ever imagine just by taking action. 
Friends, I really hope you can actually take what I'm sharing with you and really put it into action to achieve the results that you're looking for, to achieve that desire that you've always been dreaming of, because that's what you're destined to have and to achieve in your life. Number one thing is to, first of all, get out of your comfort zone. Don't be complacent in the space that you're in right now. The second thing is imposter syndrome. It is normal to feel like you're not good enough. It is normal to feel like that you're a fake. These are all normal feelings to have, but know for one thing, this is only feelings, okay? I'm giving you permission to go out there and conquer in your specific trade. The third thing is being fancy. No amount of equipment, no amount of education will get you the results if you're not willing to put in the work. So being fancy really does not help. It's a nice to have thing. Go out there and do the work. Put yourself out there. And the fourth thing and the final thing that would really determine whether you're successful or you're just gonna be a couch potato is doing what the 1% does. And what is that? That is taking action, getting your butt off that sofa and putting things into action. Risk everything that you have and you will be rewarded like no other people. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I'm here for you. I'm rooting for you. I want you to achieve the success that you're destined to. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, leave in the comment section below. I'll be happy to answer all of them for you. Make sure you subscribe along the journey. I'll see you guys in the next video.